Hey guys, I'm here because I've been here. Um, I've decided that uh, I will do a, a spoiler review for uh, Transformers 5 last night. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there, you know, that do that do a uh, spoiler, that do um, spo the spoiler reviews. So uh, I guess I'll do one. Uh, so because it's the uh, spoiler review, I'll be able to say everything that I want to say. Even though I did say like one or two in the other video, but this will be all spoilers, like, like, like a, a full review of just spoilers. So not just the thing that I accidentally copied it yesterday, but also more stuff. So, so uh, uh anyway, uh, yeah. So um, my spoiler, my uh. My spoiler review on Transformers 5 the last night. So, uh, yeah, um, uh, when I, uh, I forgot to say this, uh, uh, about it yesterday, um, in my regular review, uh, wasn't really thinking of it, but, uh, uh, it all, uh, this film also, uh, beside, uh, out of the Wonder Woman, besides, besides the Wonder Woman, uh, this film all, it was different, but, uh, this film also, felt like uh, a history movie, history type movie. Uh, um, yeah, the beginning was like, a, uh, uh, was uh, very much like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, d and Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, especially with Dragonstorm. Yeah, especially, especially with Dragonstorm. And, uh, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, the Dinobots, um, not all of them were in it, uh, just the main Dinobots, which were the main version of, uh, of, um, uh, Slug, Grimlock, and Strafe, uh, the main Dinobots, like the, like, you know, the ones that appeared in the fourth film, Age of Extinction, uh, it was just Grimlock and Slug, so, and, if, and I felt like, I feel like that, uh, they had more, that, that, and I, uh, I'll rephrase. I feel like that they had a less time in this film than they did in the fourth one. I feel like that they were in the fourth one a lot more than in this one. It was nice and awesome, you know, to see them again, but I thought they would have been in the film longer, especially Remark. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I feel that, yeah, they were in the fourth film a lot longer. Like, uh, for example, you know, right or wrong, doesn't matter. Um, for example, the Dinobots in the fourth film, they were in for like 15-ish minutes or something, and this one they were in for like five. So, so anyway, yeah, um, uh, but yeah, uh, Optimus Prime, uh, does not die. Bumblebee doesn't, Bumblebee doesn't either. And, uh, yeah, so answer your question, I, I got a comment on, a, on, um, uh, on my other review, uh, Otherless Prime does not stay evil, he goes back to being good. Uh, yeah, Bumblebee does not die, I already said that. Um, Megatron dying, I don't know, I don't think he did. Uh, he just had his arm, did this arm come off again, like in the, like in the, remember the fall, and that arm came off again. Uh, yeah, I feel like that, uh, uh, Quintessa and Megatron were the main, were the main villains, and, um, uh, but Unicron, um, uh, the big horn that we saw in the, in the, in the, uh, the, the, uh, trailer, and the, uh, Super Bowl TV spot, the extended and regular, the, uh, the big horns, yeah, that, that was Unicron, so Unicron did have an appearance in the film, but it was most like a, like a, uh, introducing him, like, uh, like, um, uh, like with Marvel's The Avengers, the end credit scene showed Thanos, and, uh, he didn't, yeah, um, and so, uh, so there, so that's what happened with, uh, with Unicron in this film, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, because of how the endings were with the other films, I think Unicron will be in Transformers 6, the sequel to The Last Night, so that would be really freaking damn awesome, finally getting to see Unicron, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so Unicron, so Unicron was in the film, but not, like, fully, like, hinted and stuff, you know, 
you know, so, yeah. So you have those big horns on the ground, yeah, I, yeah, I, he's in Earth. He's in Earth. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. Uh, Dragon Storm, uh, he didn't have that much of an appearance, uh, but he was in it quite a lot. I, I kind I actually feel like that he was in more than the Autobots. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh. Yes, it really sucks that uh, you know, um, uh, Anthony Hopkins' uh, character died. Uh, yeah, there were also a lot of humor scenes. There were quite a few funny scenes, especially with An with Anthony Hopkins. Um, Tessa had a cameo, had a few cameo appearances. Her biggest one was her talking on was her message on Kate's phone. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so the, in the end credits scene, uh, Quintessa is apparently not dead. Yeah, her, she's not dead. She was, she was, uh, disguised as a real human. And yeah, this is when they showed Unicron more up close, just his horns. Yeah, so. And yeah, yeah, that cyber, I said this in the other review, yeah, uh, that, that, that Cybertronian plant that we saw in all the trailers, and in, 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 in all the two spots in the trailers and stuff. That, yeah, that was Cybertron. That was Cybertron. So, uh, uh yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. That's, uh, all I can really think of to say right now. Uh, that's all I can really think of to say. So, um, oh yeah, Barricade was also really awesome.